Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about tautology, contradiction, and logical equivalence. Okay, what is the difference between tautology and contradiction? So when you say tautology denoted as this symbol, so uh, ang tawag sa symbol na yan is tau, is a statement that always true. And for contradiction, so we're using this symbol, it's a symbol for null set. It is a statement that is always false. Okay? Let P and Q be proposition using truth tables. Let's uh, find if P or tau is a tautology. So, this symbol is for disjunction, right? So, therefore, uh, we're going to verify kung uh, the given value of P or tau is a uh, tautology. So, uh, let's use the truth tables. So, since meron lang tayong uh, dalawa, okay, we're using this P, the proposition P. So, what will be the value? We have true and false. And kapag sa ano natin, we remember class, no? Remember that uh, this symbol, uh, this tau symbol, uh, it is a proposition which always true. So, ibig sabihin sa second column natin, kung always true to, therefore, ito ay all true. Okay. So, since meron tayo dito, connector, okay, meron tayong operation, which is the disjunction, and that is P or tau, okay, so binasa ko na lang basis sa tawag sa symbol na yan, okay, and we're using the truth table for this junction. Okay? So, ga kailangan natin gamitin to. So, sabi sa truth table ng this junction, kapag meron tayong dalawang true, and the first statement is true, and the second statement is true, so the truth value is true. Okay? So, sa pangalawa, if the first statement is false and the second statement is true, so ito yon, the true value is true. Okay, so makikita natin na uh, the answer is all truths. Therefore, P or tau is tautology. Okay, next. Another. P and the null set is a contradiction. Okay? P and this null set is a contradiction. So, same process. Kunin natin yung um, truth value ng P and that is true and false. And for the null set, sabi sa null set, uh, since the null set is a proposition which is always false, therefore, the second column is all false. Okay. So, the truth table, uh, P, so, gagamit tayo ngayon ng conjunction truth table. So, tingnan natin dito, basis sa truth table ng conjunction, no, the truth table is, the first statement is true and the second statement is false. The true value is false. And then, if both statement is false, the answer is false. So, tatandaan natin. So, therefore, uh, since false lahat, no, all false, therefore, P or the null set is a contradiction. Okay? Next. Okay, for number 3. So, dito, P implies, o kaya this symbol is uh, ginagamit din natin for if and then kasi for conditional statement siya. So, P implies P uh, or Q is a tautology. So, we need to verify kung talagang uh, lahat ng value nito is true. All the statement is true. So, tingnan natin. So, since we have two proposition here, P and Q, so, meron tayong dalawang proposition. So, ano nga ang gagawin natin ulit? So, gagamit tayo ng four columns for two propositions. So, tatandaan natin yan. And that is P and Q. So, kapag sa P, that is true, true, false, false. And sa Q naman, true, false, true, false. So, ito lagi yung ginagamit natin. Uh, dun sa mga previous video lesson natin, so ito yung ginamit, ginagamit natin. Ito lagi yung umpisa natin. And then, para ma-verify natin, so, anong una natin makukuha dito? So, using the 
truth value or yung sa logical connector natin na discussion, anong unang makukuha natin? Makukuha ba agad natin? Of course, no. So, kunin muna natin yung value nito, yung truth value sa, ng, sa loob ng parenthesis. And that is P or Q. So, gagamit tayo ng truth value or the truth value of uh, disjunction. So, copy na lang natin. If that, copy na lang natin to Okay, so that is true, uh, true, true, false. Okay, and then, uh, balik tayo sa given natin. And that is P implies P or Q. So, ano ang titingnan natin? So, tingin tayo ngayon sa first column natin and then sa third column natin. So, ang gagamitin natin para makuha ng value nito is yung first column natin and then yung third column natin. So, since this is for a uh, conditional statement, so, gamit tayo ng uh, truth uh, table ng conditional statement. So, if that is true and true, the answer is true. And then, same lang sa second column, true then Kapag false yung first statement and yung true sa second statement, sa the true value is, or the value is true. Okay? And then, kapag both false in the long statement, the answer is true. So, ibig sabihin, that is correct that P implies P or Q is tautology. Kasi lahat is, lahat ng sagot natin is true. Okay? Next. For question number 4, we have P and not Q and P and Q. Again, P and not Q and P and Q is a contradiction. So, medyo mahaba-haba to. So, we have two propositions. So, kailangan natin ng four columns dyan. And then, anong una natin kukunin? Of course, uh, proceed tayo muna dun sa left side. Since hindi agad natin ito makukuha, so, kunin muna natin yung uh, negation ng Q. I-negate muna natin yung value ng Q. Diba pag kinukuha lang yung negation, eh, kunin lang yung opposite nito. So, kung true dyan, dito ay false. So, that is false, true, false, true. So, tingin tayo sa Q natin, sa value ng Q natin. And then, after that, uh, ito na, makukuha na natin. So, P and not Q. So, anong gagamitin natin truth, uh, truth table? So, yung conjunction. Okay. Gamit yung true table ng conjunction, conjunction, tingin tayo sa first column natin and then sa third column natin. So, sabi sa true table ng conjunction, kapag ang first statement natin daw ay true and second statement is false, uh, yung buong statement natin ay false. Okay. And then kapag both statement true, so yung statement natin ay true. And then kapag both statement are false, so yung anong statement natin, false then and then kapag uh, false true, so ito yung the answer is false so meron tayo dito so paano, anong next natin, okay, yung next natin yung sa right side, yung P and Q, so ito na yun yung P and Q, so copy na lang natin to, so that is true false, false false and after that, yung buo na, yung given, given na natin. So, therefore, saan tayo titingin? Sa fourth column na natin and then sa fifth column natin. So, doon kayo titingin sa fourth column saka sa fifth column natin. And using pa rin ng conjunction. So, we have false true kapag yung first statement natin is false and second statement is true. So, this statement is false. And then kapag true and false, the answer is still false. And then kapag both false, the statement is false. Uh, yeah, same din sa fourth column. So, therefore, uh, the truth uh, value combination of P and Q, it is a contradiction. So, based on the given. So, this is a contradiction. Okay, another example. Show that P or not P and Q is a uh, tautology. So, we need to verify it na talagang all this statement uh, of this is true. Okay. So, anong unahin natin? Not P. Yung negate muna natin yung P. Negate natin. So, not P. So, tingin tayo sa value ng P natin. 
So, kunin lang natin yung opposite nito. Kung true dyan, dito ay false. So, false then and then true, true. Next is yung nasa loob na ng parenthesis. So, not P or Q. Not P or Q. So, that is... So, saan tayo titingin? Not P or Q. So, tingin muna tayo sa third column natin bago sa second column. So, ang start natin, yung movement ng pagtingin natin is mula dito sa third bago sa second column. So, so anong gagamitin natin truth uh, table? So, yung sa disjunction. So, kapag false true, so false true, the statement is true. Pag both false, so the statement is false. Both true, the statement is true. True, false. So, ito yun, no? In second, the statement is true. And then, yung P or not P or Q. Okay. So, saan tayo titingin dyan? Yung first column natin and then yung fourth column natin. So, first column tayo titingin and then sa fourth column nyo. So, gamit pa rin itong ta uh, true table ng uh, disjunction natin. So, kapag both true, okay, true, the answer is true. True, false, the answer is true. False, true, still the answer is true. And then, false, true, the answer is true. Therefore, uh, P or not, P or Q is a tautology. Okay, next. So, may tinatawag tayong logical equivalence. So, ano ba yung tinatawag na logical equivalence? So, pag sinabi nating logical equivalence class, uh, the two propositions P and Q are log eh, logically equivalent. So, denoted by P. So, this symbol, no, uh, yung symbol na to ay for biconditional, right? If they have the same truth values for all possible truth values of their simple components. Okay, we have the double arrow here, no? So, we have the double arrow here, the symbols. So, gagamitin natin yung symbol nito for uh, if the two proposition are equivalent. So, kapag uh, gagamitin natin to kapag yung dalawang proposition are equivalent. So, itong gagamitin nating symbol. Okay, first, show that, okay, show that P implies Q uh, is equivalent to not P or Q. Okay, paano natin gawin? Kailangan makita natin na yung value nito, no, the truth values nito ay same sa value nito. So, gawa tayo ng truth table. So, since meron tayong dalawang proposition, so, four columns yung gagawin natin. So, standard yan. Lagi natin itong tatandaan. Ito yung umpisa natin. So, kunin muna natin yung nasa left side natin. And that is P implies Q. Or that, ang basa na iba dito, eh, P then Q. Kasi this for conditional statement. Okay. P implies Q. So, since this is for uh, conditional statement, uh, gawin natin yung, uh, kunin natin yung truth tables ng conditional statement. So, sa conditional statement, ito na yon So, copy na lang natin itong value na to. So, that is true, false, true, true. Okay? And then, uh, dito sa right side natin, kunin natin yung negation ng P. So, negate lang natin yung P. So, kabaliktaran lang nito. Kung true dyan, so dito false. Okay? Kapag true, false, false, true, and false, true. And then, ito na yung buong ito. Not P or Q. So, not P or Q. So, anong titingnan natin? Yung fourth column natin and then yung second column. So, titingin muna tayo dito sa fourth column natin bago sa second column natin. Yan yung movement ng pagkuha nyo na sagot. And then, using the disjunction. Sa true table na disjunction. So, kapag false yung first statement and then true sa second statement, ano yung sagot natin? That is true. Okay. And then, kapag both false, ang statement natin, the answer is false. And then, kapag both true, the answer is true. And then, kapag both false, the answer is false. So, ano yung kailangan natin tingnan? Kailangan yung value nito at yung value nito ay equal. Okay. So, yung value ng P implies Q is this. And yung value naman ng not P or Q, ito. So, makikita nyo. So, therefore... No, therefore, they are equivalent. 
Okay? Kasi pareho sila. Okay, another example. Show that not the quantity of P or not Q. And not P and Q are equivalent statement. Okay? So, paano gagawin? Gawa tayo muna ng truth table. So, yan lagi ang una nating gagawin. So, since na, meron tayo pa dito ang opening sa loob ng parenthesis, so unahin natin yung negation ng Q. Okay, what is the negation of Q? Babalik tayo lang natin ito, no? Opposite nito, so kung true dyan, this false, kung false dito, dito ay true. So that is false, true, false, and true. And then, ito na, yung buong uh, nasa loob ng parenthesis, that is P or not Q. P or not Q, so gagamitin natin yung disjunction through tables para meron So kapag sa sabi sa uh, true table ng disjunction kapag true false, so titingin kayo ngayon sa first column nyo and then sa third column nyo, tama? So kapag yung first statement natin is true and then the third column is false, uh, the second statement is false, the answer is true. And then same dito, so both true, the statement is true. False, both false, so false then. And then false true, so sabi kapag yung first statement is false, second statement is true, the answer is true. And then, anong next natin? So kunin natin, inigate natin, so negate natin to, yung buong parenthesis natin, so inigate lang natin to. So kunin natin yung negation nito. So, that is, kung true siya, false. False, true, false. So, lipat tayo dun sa kabila. Ito naman yung kunin natin. So, we have two uh, propositions. So, kunin muna natin yung negation ng P. So, ano yung negation ng P? That is, false, false, true, true. And then, uh, yung not, ito, ito, P and Q natin. So, yung P and Q, or, yes, the answer is, Okay, so that is not Q. Ba, kulang ata, wait. Okay, so after that, so kunin na natin yung value nito. So that is, so not P and Q. So tingin tayo sa third column natin and then dun sa second column natin. So gagamitin natin yung conjunction, yung true tables ng conjunction. So that is, False, true. So, kapag ang first statement is false and yung second statement natin is true, so the answer is false. And then, false, true. Same nung second, uh, first column natin. So, the answer is false. Uh, no, both false pala. Both false. So, the answer is false. And kapag both true, the answer is true. And then, true, false. So, the answer is uh, false. So, therefore, check natin kung they are equivalent. So, ito yung uh, value ng uh, first statement natin. Ito. And then, this one. Alright. So, tingnan natin. Okay. So, therefore, uh, they are equivalent statement. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.